this is what we're doing in the next five years. Um, but for Taco Soul, I mean, you know, you, you'll see it. We'll, we'll start with one and we'll end with thousands. But to get there, you know, because a lot of people can say that, like, okay, we're going to start with one, then we're going to scale and have thousands. But what do you have to do to get there? Because it takes capital. It takes it takes investments. Like, eventually, you know, we the first two, we're probably going to use our own capital. Mm. First one, we use, we use our own capital, which means, like, all this is funded by us. Mm. You know what I mean? But – Three and four, you know, we may be looking for that that equity deal. You know what I mean? Where it's like, okay, is it time to bring in um, LeBron, or is it time to bring in mm. Drake, or is it time to bring in somebody of stature that has that we can leverage their their um, their platforms mm-hmm. to, to grow smart the company? Way. Very smart. Um, Start counting up. What so, what got to be like? <laughs> <laughs> So Man, that, that sound like a fucking rocket. That ain't even that crazy. That's what got it behind me. <laughs> that was beep. Beep. that was crazy. But I mean, that, that's that's pretty much yeah. the plan. You know, we want to have we want to have we want to have a few, but um, eventually we want to start franchising it. You know, and, and hopefully selling markets and hopefully. Right. Hey y'all, this is Mike O. Man coming to y'all live from Moguls in the Making. This is episode forty one, and we're live talking about Taco Soul, talking about my DJ career, and talking about everything from the Ruta to the Tuta. Let's get it. Yo, what up? Another episode, Moguls in the Making, man. Episode 41. I'm your host, Catch a Bag. Oh. And I'm your most, your most gracious, your most handsome, your most innovative. I thought you said you was hoodie T today. I'm fin- niggas always, that's what happens. <laughs> you start jumping in on boy shit and they can't even finish. Pause. But <laughs> yeah. but now, man, it's Hoodie T today, man. I'm Hoodie T, a.k.a., man. Wow. Hey, a.k.a., if I go out there to get the contract, God damn it, I'm bringing it back sign. You hear me? Mm. I'm bringing that motherfucker back sign. So. You did that, sir? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But uh, let's talk to him about what we got going on right now, though, bro. Business, I mean, T, I'm going to have you hit him with the whammy on that one and talk about that one. But, um... This week, uh, I think what we got six, seven deals on the board right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we cooking. We back up to, you know, where we was at. But again, as we, you know, been saying every week, when it's time for you to start to scale and put them systems in order, you got to take a half step back, or you know, sometimes a couple steps back to you know run faster. So that's what we've been in the process of doing. So now, you know, we there, we rolling. We we had our uh, meeting and stuff today. Our disposition manager was like, "Man, this is this is uh, yeah, I'm busy. I got a lot of work to do." <laughs> that's a good <laughs> like, thing. Yeah, that's a good thing. And hopefully after this podcast, we got a meeting too lined up today to go get another one. So, um, you know, we cooking. We got a new hire. He started this week. Mm. Bring him right in. You know, what I'm saying with the fire and the energy and everything that's going on, we got a lot of momentum right now. See, so I'm just grateful. <clears throat> like in our pipeline. Uh, revenue that we got coming up is about, you know, 70, 80 K right now or so of the current deals that we have right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that is needing to be dispoed out and having a buyer own and stuff like that. So, yeah, you know what I mean? So that's good. Yeah, most definitely. We, we, I think we had a point where it's time to, time to go ahead with the go ahead. And what I mean, what I mean by that is, yeah, don't let the train slow back down. Right. Like, I think we said it today and we actually might add this to our, to our, um, yeah, to our office somewhere, man. We're gonna have to put it up, but just get comfortable with being uncomfortable. Because a lot of the deals that we getting right now, man, like we get, we just getting in front of the people. Like we getting out, we pulling up at their house when they, when they, they like, man, we, they we five ten thousand dollars off of where they need to be at, man. We pulling up, we getting knee to knee with them. You know what I'm saying? And really talking to them and really building a relationship with them. And and from that, what we seeing is. We seeing a lot of deals that we able to close up on site where they was about to sign something the next day with somebody else or the next week with somebody else. They was they I, I walked into a house, I walked into a house, y'all, yesterday that's going to be a six figure deal for us, a hotel deal if we hotel it. I walked in there and on the table, literally on the table, it was a letter from home investors. It was a letter from like two or three of the top wholesale companies slash flipper companies in the state of. Sitting right there on his table. He had just got off the phone with, with one of them that had put in an offer, and he was going to accept that the next day. 
I was face to face with him. He built a better relationship with me. The dude dang near broke down, start crying. Not dang near, he did while he was talking to me. I was able to lock the contract up, man. Like I said, that's a six figure contract, but that's because I, I was able to get uncomfortable though. This was a Sunday. Yeah. I could have laid back. You know what I'm saying? Like the whole weekend I was reaching out to him, trying to get in touch with him, trying to see if his nephew was going to buy the property or not. And once he said, by the time uh, Saturday night came, he said, Hey man, can you just meet me at my house at one tomorrow? I said, say no more. You know what I'm saying? Got out there at one o'clock and locked it up. But that's definitely something that we that we trying to like instill in our in our uh, employees yeah. moving forward. Like get uncomfortable, get comfortable with being uncomfortable. That, yeah, that's okay. a co- that's like a that. culture we want to create. You Absolutely. know what I'm saying? It's just that we want dogs on our team. We might not have the the big, like 300. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like when it was like he was like, "Hey, what do you do for work?" He was like, "I'm a carpenter. I'm a pl- I'm a whatever." Yeah. He was like. Swatter, what do you do? They all had the same answer. <laughs> Dogs. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Our 300, he was like, yeah, you got you got the same amount of men as I do. I got 300 men. Right. You got 20,000, but you only got 300 warriors. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we want to build a team. You know what I mean? don't have to be the biggest, but it's the strongest. We go and get A players. Mm-hmm. We go and get top talent that do that, that believe how we believe. That's okay with being uncomfortable Mentally, it's just like that resistance pushed mm-hmm. past it. I first got that initial thought, or uh, nah, I ain't that mean you should do it, right? You know what I'm saying? Like right. if I had that thought, that mean I, whatever that is, like uh, nah, I probably shouldn't go to the. That mean you should go to the gym. Absolutely, yeah. like that's what it mean. That's right. what you're supposed to do when you feel that resistance. For sure. So, man, T, man, that's that, man. We got it cooking. We got it rolling. Of course, coming to y'all next year, 2024 or something like that. We're going to put something together. We're going to hide that. But, T, man, without further ado, we got a guest that's in the building today, man, talking about entrepreneurship. Man. A lot of stuff. Having your hands in a lot of stuff. Man. Yeah, shit. Mr. You know, there he is. Hey, you know how I got to do it, man. <laughs> <laughs> We got Mr. Bring him in, T. I'm, I'm going to take it from the – hey, I got something funny to tell you after this, too. Oh, Not man. after this, but after I introduce you. But we got Mr. Motherfucking Taco Soul in the building. Yeah. Yes, we sir. got Mr. Northside in the building. Yes, sir. We got goddamn Mr. Uh, DJ Mike Nasty in the damn Ooh. building. Yes, sir. We got Mr. Real Estate Investor in the goddamn <laughs> building. Yes, sir. Now he trying to be Mr. Fortville, bro. You ain't coming over there, bro, trying to take over <laughs> shit either, bro. I'm right there, too. It's over. He said he but, putting the movie, the movie theater in the nah, basement man, right now. Oh, my God. DJ Mike Nasty, a.k.a. Mike, really Michael Andrews, God damn it. Uh, yeah. 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 I know you from way back, It's man. my turn What's today. though, bro? <laughs> Appreciate you for having you on. Mike Nasty, appreciate you chopping up with us, man. Yeah, y'all already know, man. Damn. It's love. Hey, before T, T always like to go back first and shit. He always forget how it goes. Nah, Mike. I don't want to go back like that. I just want to tell well, the story real quick. Man. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I, I ain't trying to go all the way back. I understand. <laughs> let me, let me sit back and, sh- let me sit back and shut wanna, the fuck up. He want to hit the. You got man, it, whatever. T. You got it. Hey, bro, do you remember boofing? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that hey. hold on, wait, 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 wait. So just so y'all know, context, yeah. Um, Boop was, and we not, hey, we not condoning any nah, bullying activity. Nah, no, no, period no. in the schools. I'm just letting that know right there. That was crazy. <laughs> but we had the whole fucking school <laughs> boofing people, bro. And what a boof was, bro, is like <laughs> basically. <laughs> Basically, when boys is in the hallway not paying attention, bro, like you literally just they there go like this, and you damn near push them in, the, in they back, bro, like, like the book bag on, bro. You know how I many people would fall, bro, like everybody just cracking up laughing, bro. But we was doing it to each other, though. We wasn't yeah, doing exactly. it to like mess Because we used to do that. We, just, people. we used to run up and act like we hitting you, but when hitting you, like, mm. right, you know what I'm right, saying? Right. I forgot bro. about that. They got to in a part where they had to put out like a, like a notice, yeah. like, hey, if, if you if we get caught boofing, yeah. <laughs> Counted as a fight, <laughs> you will be suspended. Hey, if you if you from North Central, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't gonna lie. Like, let's, <laughs> let's 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 now we got to go back a little bit. Cause, <laughs> man, listen, bro. Like me and T, like T was like real big in basketball, right? Like I was real big in high school. He made me he made me tear up y'all on that one. Hold on, I was real big. I was real big in high school from throwing parties and stuff like that. Yeah, and I was just a class clown. You know what I mean? Like I mean, I passed my past school obviously you to be around there, but I was. I wasn't the, I wasn't the greatest <laughs> kid, I ain't gonna lie. But uh, you know, it is what it is. But when we came up with boofing, man, I remember I'm in the classroom and I, I did it. And then I think T came up with the name because he was always a name person. Like 
He could put a name on anything. You know what I'm saying? And, and I was the, the dummy uh, enough to do it to people. And, and I think I did to a teacher one time. Bro, you boofed a teacher, bro. Yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> he did. He nah, did, bro. Nah, he nah. was a class clown, bro. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was bad. It was, it was bad. But I'm, I'm happy we all evolved and grew up. <laughs> exactly. Once again, we, we not, we not condoling. You know, nah, it was a fun thing. thing. So was, y'all was in high school. Nah, man, I got to hear the teacher, though. So, like, hey, like, did he look goofy and shit, though? Did, did you, was, you know how some teachers look? You be like, I, was, I just want to do it to you because you just look. Nah, like a I fucking mean, goofy. He was, I mean, was you know Mr. what I'm saying? Rimers? Yes, it was Mr. Rimer. It was Mr. Rimer. Thing, like, he wasn't a teacher. He was like the ass- what? Did, what was he? Huh? Assistant principal, assistant I think. Principal. It was. Oh yeah, yeah. It's all yeah. Good. Right. I thought I was out of there. He I ended up getting kicked out of North Central anyway, <laughs> Mr. Rimer. I ended up getting kicked out of North Central. <laughs> so sophomore, I mean, sophomore, bro, they got me together smooth too. Sophomore year, I was about to go into junior year. I was um, uh, I was in the JL half half to class half to school, and. uh in, in actual school, the other half or whatever. Yeah. And I came to school one day, and uh, I, I forget. Like, I was really like a joner. You know what I mean? I'm one of them. Exactly. Yeah. I'm nah, a you used to kill your far. shit and no, everybody no, no, just I was, be rolling. Well, I was to way too far. Yeah, I, I used to go way too far. And, like, that's why I, like, when I be as grown, grown Michael, I'd be like, please don't start with me. Because, like, <laughs> I really roast you. And he used to be, be childish. Yeah. Man. <laughs> so I didn't have no Divine chill. them, too. I didn't have no chill. So I came to class one day, and I roasted somebody, and I got put out. And, like, that was the day they was like, it's a wrap. It was like, all right. Uh, matter of fact, you live on the line from Pike, and uh, you need to go to Pike from from now on. I was like, what? That's like, no, it killed me. I didn't even know they did you like that. Yeah, that's why junior and sophomore yeah. senior year, UNC. Yep. But I I still put a one two, and I went to Pike. I went to Pike for my junior year and senior year, but then I still went to JL. So I did right. a half day at Pike and then drove back to North Central. I remember seeing you. Like, okay, okay. I drove back. Like, now I'm still, I'm still back over here, right. nigga. I thought you yeah, got yeah. me. Killed him. Yeah, go go ahead, ahead, I'm bro. still over here. Go ahead. Oh, we can get, we can get back to it. My bad, man. We had. Nah, you good? Nah, nah, nah. nah you good? Time. Boofing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Boofing. That's cool. Hilarious. We used to just walk up with crack boys in the back of the head. That was the same <laughs> shit though. Or you know, you see a little. Or you bullying. Or you or or you see a little ledge right there. You already know what I'm about to say. You see a little ledge right there. It's over, man, nigga. You know, I'm just. Pointing at you and everybody are all oh, they already see it coming. Right. I'm putting my nuts all on your head. <laughs> pause. pause. Boom. I called it. I already called it. I'm here. We good. That's a Boom, bad. boys is falling and all that shit, man. Boys would be dying, bro. Just childish as hell. You know what I mean? Ah, yeah, it was crazy. How and and crazy? you know what's the craziest thing though? I just seen some people get creative with it though. Like yeah. we so fried with it. I seen somebody put they like I seen somebody do that shit when a nigga was getting on the bus. Oh, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Crazy. Like I'm like Damn, I didn't even think to right. even do that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like a classroom <laughs> makes sense. This nigga's getting, this nigga fell into the bus. Yeah. No, that's crazy. No, that's crazy. That's right. Oh, shit. But nah, man, Mike, catch us up, bro. Talk. This is the time to talk your shit. What all you got your hands into? Who is DJ Mike Nasty? Man, shit. Talk to us numbers wise. Yeah, numbers oh, wise. Like, talk to it. Really break it down. Some people be on here to be kind of shot of, you know, nah, man, talk I mean, that shit. Like, how much money like, did you do? Yeah. And, and whatever it is, you know. Well, I feel like I feel like when it comes to this entrepreneurship, like especially like me, I my mind always on a thousand percent, a thousand miles per hour. So it's like I be trying to have my hands in a million different things. But um, I've been doing restauranting stuff since I was fifteen. People just don't know because like DJ Mike Nasty, I shadow Michael. You know what right. I'm saying? So um, I mean, at one point, I was the hottest person throwing parties in, in Indiana. You know what I'm saying? So um, people didn't know I. Still had a job the whole time. Like, right. <laughs> they just didn't know, you know what I'm saying? Because, like, I barely worked, but I worked, you know what I'm saying? So, um, nah, so I've been in a restaurant for about 15 years, and I've ran multiple companies, um, you know, that do 400, 500, 500 million, million dollars a year. Um, like, I just got out of, what was it, Chipotle not too long ago. Well, it was a long time ago, but I did Chipotle for a while, I was a GM for Chipotle. Um, and I mean, they're, they're a five, six hundred million dollar company a year. And and like what you see with these restaurants is that the successful ones just make a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and they create it's, it's it's more about for me, it's more about creating opportunities for other people, because it's like if there's something I love and, I, and I, I, I'm passionate about, I'm going to do it regardless. Right. right so it's like right. whether I'm getting paid a salary or whether I'm the one paying the salaries and, and getting the, the bottom line. Right. Which yeah. We call it the bottom line. It's like. I'm still doing something I love. So it's like I can go work for Chipotle and make $75,000 a year, which that's not enough for me. But yeah. for somebody else, that's, that's, that's cool. That's amazing, that's, right? That's good. Yeah. And it's like that's just it's not enough for me because it's what I, where I want to be, right? And it's right. like 
you know, um, but for somebody else, it's, it's amazing. But it, it's like these opportunities that you can create for somebody being an entrepreneur and being the CEO of a company um, weighs more for me than it does just about the money. You know what I'm saying? The, yeah. money, the money is good. Don't get me wrong. Like right now, we, we opened in Taco So December 2nd, um, 83, 8235 East 116th Street, downtown mm-hmm. Fishers. And um, I mean, just to kind of let y'all weigh in on that, like that was a situation where we thought we took over old Moe's, Moe's Southwest Grill. A bunch of them went out of business, and we like, bet, this is our time to launch this, this concept I've been working on for five years. Right. It's like people think that – like, It just started. But yeah, it's like we, I've been working on this concept for five-plus years, and, and, and it takes time. It takes money. It takes everything. Like I put on a few um, pop-ups where I basically just had people come and – Eat the food to see kind of a taste of a taste I of concept. This nigga farted, man. My bad. Dang. His his uh his uh his phone vibrated. My phone vibrated. Right. Right. So I know he didn't just fart what? beside me like that. Bro. He looked up. Just what? try to just. I keep see it. how he looked at you. I was just like, keep it. I thought I was like he gonna really keep his face that that <laughs> <laughs> serious. Like bro, go bust a laugh or something. Or you meant to fart on me? Is, nah, go ahead. But nah, nah. It's, it's, it's been a it's been a thing. <laughs> it's been a thing we've been I've been working on for five years, man, and um. You know, we went and bought the old Moe's and, like I said, in Fishers. And um, we thought it was going to be like a fifty, sixty thousand dollars project. We like, all right, we can get in, get this. It's a turnkey. Yeah. We can get in here, flip it real quick and be open. And I tell people, like, <laughs> you guys probably know this best. It's kind of like houses. Once you get in there. It's almost more than what you think. <laughs> you like. It's always oh, more than God. what you think. Open those walls up. Yeah, everything. All that stuff. Everything. Like, and it's funny because. Right now, since this is my own concept, I've really been kind of documenting a lot of things like, like, hey, we just went in and I seen the grease trap. The grease trap was terrible. 7,000. You know what Damn. I'm saying? It's like, that's how restaurants are. Everything is 5,000 here, 3,000 here. So right now, we are already $145,000 in the hole and we just bleeding cash right now because every place that we look in there is something different happening. And right. it's something that, that the most people had it before us did not keep up. Right. You know what I'm saying? So now we like basically flipping it to where it's dang there a, a full build out. This, right. At exactly. this point, you know what I'm saying? But tell me, tell me where, not to cut you off, tell me where, okay, you might be 145,000 in the hole. But once this thing is up, it's a, it's a mean machine. It's running how it's supposed to run. Yeah. What does that look like per month? I know you, I know you, um, you also was doing it with the, uh, with the, um, like pop ups too, right? Correct. How much, how much do you see on that a month? I mean, w- once we finally get up and running, and it's doing how it's supposed to do, um, we're, we're probably scheduled to make about one seventy five a month. Mm. So um, that's deep. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I mean, pause. <laughs> you facts, pause. But I mean, uh, <laughs> you yeah. told me to start saying that, boy. That you gonna pause me? <laughs> that's deep. <laughs> you mm. said that because you went viral. For that's that. deep. <laughs> T is hell, boy. Oh, well, you said that was deep on that. On that T is hell, <laughs> man. <was> weak. <laughs> T <laughs> is hell for real. <laughs> but not nah, one hundred seventy-five thousand a month. Yeah, probably about one hundred seventy-five thousand a month. And what, and what are that is looking like expenses? Uh, I mean, with restaurants, you're looking about 60, 60, 65 percent in expenses. Right? Okay, right. Okay, and that, that's just uh, yeah, thirty-five, forty. Per, that's healthy though. Yeah, that's really thirty-five, healthy. forty, forty oh, yeah, percent yeah, yeah, profit yeah, margin. Yeah, yeah, that's healthy. It's definitely healthy. I mean, to be honest, that's a normal bit. You know what I mean? That's, that's healthy. Food, food, food's different though. Food, yeah, if it's you probably drag, a little bit higher, ten percent oh, or yeah, five, yeah. five to ten percent like, higher. If you, could but, have, if you could drag ten to fifteen or twenty percent to the bottom line in food, you're healthy. Right. Because the food with food is is more about the numbers game. It's more like. If I got five locations dragging twenty percent down, fifteen percent down, now I'm making millions. So my, like, how the hell? How? <laughs> what make you think that yours is going to be success? Like for the viewers right out there, yeah. people know a restaurant is is like the hardest game to do. Absolutely. Yeah, it is. You know what I'm saying? It is. <laughs> so what what makes you be like? Obviously, you got a lot of experience. Absolutely. But you're doing this now on your own. Absolutely. I mean, we I double dabbled in um in uh, Qdoba, like I said, Chipotle, all, all the the Mexican restaurant spaces that you can. <clears throat> kind of work in I've done it you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. and um I realized that in that fast casual space where you can kind of come in and customize what you want you got a few names that's that's a big in that space and that's Qdoba that's Chipotle and that's Moe's Moe's yeah yeah, yeah Moe's. Moe's and Moe's and Moe's is at the, kind of at the bottom of the total yeah exactly right? yeah. for sure so at the top you have Chipotle and Qdoba all right so for me it's like if we can get a piece of that pie why not <coughs> excuse me so 
when I came with the with the the concept, it's like, all right, we can do Korean and Mexican cuisine where it's a fusion, where um, you're still co- coming in doing customizable things with your order, and where I just the flavor profile is better than our competitors. Right. Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay. So that's where you feel like you have the biggest advantage. Now, tell us why. Tell us why most restaurants fail within the first year. Um, really, within the first three years, normally most restaurants fail. I'm glad you asked me this because, like, I actually want to do in the future, 2024, right? Like, you guys are talking about like courses with people that want to open up restaurants, and mm-hmm. and I also want to start going to restaurants that are failing and and helping them mm. flip it around because it's like you got your key leads, you got this, but. Who's the person out there? Hey man, let me know, man. Of, of color, Some hard. I might need a little equity position. I do a little. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We, 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 man, don't we let man so bring him on the show, man. See. How them talk that talk? See. We got some things coming. You up, can't man. be saying stuff on here with him, bro. You know, got, he on expect the equity split. Oh, here you go. Look, he gonna blow up to a show. And he gonna be like, hey, bro, I'm supposed to, that's supposed to be ten percent, bro. <laughs> For that life, that ain't right, bro. Life, <laughs> lifetime <laughs> deal. But, uh, go, so now, go into for, that. Why for, do for they the fail? People, for the people that do want to do this, make sure you reach out to me. Um, Taco So here, here, here's how you spell it: T A K O S E O U L on all platforms. But reach out to me because, like, it's hard for what people think, especially when you're starting your own concept. But why do people fail? Most times, people fail with, with food. Is it's two things. Food is right. Mm-hmm. It has to be flavorful. It has to be good. And then you have to have customer service. If you got those two things down pat, you're probably going to grow your business and you're probably going to be successful. I don't know, Mike. I don't know. Tell me why not. Because I'm thinking, right, customer service, right? Let's say that's that's good. Um, I'm just thinking, what if, what if like, shipment is wrong? Like, you know, or, or like, food, like, you know what I'm saying? I, I, like, I feel like it's still much more to, like, your marketing well, you gotta have ain't what it needed. You got to have marketing. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I the, mean, the good piece about me is like I, I come from marketing. So it's like for, okay. for me and my company is it's going to be easier for us to kind of turn it because because of a, who I am in Indiana. You know what I mean? Like, right. I, like I tell them, we're targeting spots where um, we're around the, the Chick-fil-A's. I mean, the, I mean, the Chick-fil-A's, the Qdoba's, the Chipotle's because them are good target areas where mm-hmm. you're going to drive a lot of foot traffic and you're going to drive a lot of cars. Yeah, right. Starbucks. Starbucks, yeah. Like, <clears throat> we almost bought the, the Moe's on in Greenwood. Um, but when we got in there, it was just a little little too steep for our liking. You know what I mean? And it's yeah. like, Greenwood, I feel like, and no disrespect to Greenwood, but it's like it's like an up and down thing. So it, it's like, absolutely. It's a, it's a hard market to please. And it's like, when you're yeah. a brand new concept, I'd rather take over Fishers, Noblesville, um, Carmel, 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 Brownsburg, Avon area first, Whitestown, get these areas and then prove concept and then start franchising. That, I mean, that's what we want to do. You know what I mean? Right. Like, for me, it's like, okay, we, we go to college towns where, you know, yeah. you, you may make $50,000 a week um, and do 200K a month. But during when school's in, but when school's out, you're doing 18K. Right. So now right, it's like, right, now right, it's like, right, how right. are you budgeting? For yeah, that, yeah. Uh, are they are they thirty percent labor? Are they at seventeen percent labor because of the GM? Because most most times these companies fail because of um, leadership. Yeah, and so if we're talking about leadership, we're like, okay, who's running your business? Yeah, because that's what I'm saying. Like, I disagree about the the flavors, not your concept, just restaurants in general. Yeah, because I mean, you know, it's, well, no. it's some bad restaurants out there, some great marketing, and they, fuck, I mean, McDonald's like well, had a whole goddamn. Sh- I mean, that's a that's different. Yeah, that is different. Only reason I say it's different is because that's different. We're, we're talking about we're talking about fast casual. I'm I'm talking about in the fast casual space where you have to go in, you have to walk through a line, and yeah. you can either choose to sit down or you can choose to leave. Right. right. You're talking about fast, 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 food. fast food, yeah. fast food. That's right. Different. Yeah, that's different from. Uh, okay, that makes sense. From Chipotle, fast food. I mean, Chido, uh, if, if you break, I, I open, I open yeah, Chick Fil A. Chick-fil-A. I open Chick Fil A with a guy named Charlie in Whitestown. And first week they did a first week they did one hundred sixty five thousand dollars no Sunday. So is it true the first hundred <laughs> people that come in there get to eat for free for a year? It's true. And actually, uh, Taco huh. Soul the first fifty people that come in Taco Soul um, December second get to eat for a year. Free. Well, I'm coming in December first for 1st, a year free so. for a year free. There it is. You Say that again. Hold I, up. I Say that it, again. I said it here first. December second, first fifty people that's in line for Taco Soul get to eat for a year free at Taco Soul. Ugh, that's value right there. I'm camping out. Woo! I'm camping out. 
<laughs> that Escalade with the back open. I'm gonna have the TV. Out I don't there. care how cold it is. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. We'll, we'll have heaters for a second. <laughs> we'll have heaters. We'll have DJs. We'll have um, face painting for the kids. Bloom making for the kids. Oh, that's gonna be lit. Like we gonna have everything. you gonna do. You gonna do it the right way. How it's we supposed to be done. We have to. to. Most definitely. I mean, I'm, I'm I'm a promoter at heart, so it's like you know that's my first love, and food's my my second love. Right. But, you know, if I could think about loves, them are the two, right? So it's like, damn, over music. Yeah. Let's take it back mm. then. Okay. Yeah. Let's take it back then. Let's bring it all the way back then. Because I remember it back kicking to the it out bottom, and, bottom out of my L.A. You was at the crib for Helly Days. Yeah. We, we, we done been out. Hey, we didn't we didn't we didn't got silly on the town and, and, and Cali, bro. For A few real. Times. We had <laughs> one time I left him at the club, bro. Like, that was crazy. <laughs> That was crazy. I left you at the Damn, club. Man. That was crazy. That's because me and my, my wife got into it. I was like, hey, man, I'm, I'm, we out yeah, here. I'm out. I'm we out. out here. He's like, T, where y'all going? <laughs> hey, he was out. <laughs> I said, man, we had to get up out of here. I left you with one of my, I left you with my OG out there that I was telling you about yep. that I messed with super heavy. Hey, that's my guy. Hey, for real, though. He, hey, he was real. He, he a real one, though. He is. He was like, because he, he didn't even see me there either. <laughs> that's what's right. He was I out left there. before he got there. But anyways, so... Take them back, bro. Like, okay, we we heard about kind of like your your past with North Central and all of that. But okay, you you get out of Pike, and all of a sudden, you promoting parties everywhere. Next next thing after that, you DJ Mike Nasty. Yeah, because a lot of people don't know, but people that know me know I was just Mike Nasty for a long time because yeah, I didn't DJ. <clears throat> I was just throwing parties yeah. in high school. I started throwing parties at like sixteen. At North Central, um, various places, I mean, wherever. But um, when I got out of high school, I was friends with DJ Cash and Strick and all cool. them. I mean, all them was like my friends, you know what I mean, that I call friends that, that DJ, you know, DJ PA, yeah. da, 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 you know what I mean? So it's like it was a lot of them that DJ, and it was really more like a, a challenge to me, to be honest, when, when I first started talking about DJing. Of course, they're like, oh, no, nah, you, you trash. You, you can't DJ. <laughs> it's a rap. Da, da, da. And I'm like. And DJ Kev, like, go buy the equipment then. Right. I'm like, damn. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you know, and I'm like, I'm like, all right, all right. So I went, I went and spent like, I think it was like fifteen hundred and bought the equipment. And then I was at home every day. And then um DJ Watts, I called DJ Watts one day. And I'm like, hey, I need to I need to learn how to DJ. It's a rap. And he's like, all right, pull up. I pulled up at his house. He showed me how to DJ, and then from there it was up. And um, that's when I started doing con- like my own concerts as well. Yeah. Um, which I did the first Kodak and Trill Sammy show, which Kodak didn't show. Um, he's, <laughs> oh, that 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 story was crazy. He was out. What is it? About that. He was. I mean, this was when Kodak was like Skrilla, mm-hmm. like you know what I mean, young Kodak. Right. Like, he was really kind of just figuring out his value. Right. Right. Um, and I was at the time I was best friends with Lil Coach. Okay. So little Coach K yeah. was my best friend at the time. North Central too. And, yep. And he was like he, Mo. He was like, um, he's like, hey bro, hey, I heard, of, hey, I heard of, uh, um, what's that boy name? Kodak Black. I'm like, I ain't heard of Kodak Black. He sent me some music. Ooh, I'm like, oh, this dude, he cold. Like, he, <laughs> he, he, he got some. He's he's shaking. So pause. But I'm like, Ooh, I'm, like uh, I'm like, I'm uh, like, he 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 heating up. Long story short. So I'm like, man, let me go ahead and get him. Booking for a show yeah. at the Emerson Theater with Trill Sammy. So, uh, Trill Sammy just dropped Uber everywhere. So, he was kind of hot at the time, too. Yeah. <clears throat> so, but Kodak was hotter. And I paid Kodak, I think we paid him 10000 10000 I think we gave Sammy five, something like that. It was somewhere around there. Um, but long story short, he was friends with Sheed. Yeah, she, yeah. He was yeah. friends with she. She was like North his Central in the building too. I'm telling y'all, man, this North Central shit, boy, the network is silly. I'm network telling y'all that right now. So we all, me, she, Mo, we all, Baron, shout out Baron. We all, yep. the, we all in the group chat together. And uh, she like, well, I'm his banker. I can get him. I, I talk. He come in here all the time, you know, depositing the money. So I can holler at him when he come in here. So he hollered at him. We got the drop, everything, sent the bread. It was all good. The day of, this dude is sitting at the airport in the car at the time he's going to take off. Like Hold on, Kodak. You saying Kodak. Kodak was sitting in the car? Kodak. Yeah. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. So, are you saying the day of y'all event, y'all party, at the, the concert? Okay, what happened? The day of the concert, Kodak is at the <laughs> is at the airport with some girls in the car, obviously, and he's literally just sitting in the car, like in the flights, like fifteen minutes. Like he got I fifteen minutes board. Yeah. So I call him. I'm like, "Hey, are you getting on the flight?" He like. 
like this is how he talking. I'm like, bro, like, <laughs> are you getting like, what's going on? Nigga, I'm, what? I'm waiting. I'm waiting on somebody. I'm like, all right, but bro, like, yo, flight leaving ten minutes. Like, right. You need to, I don't care. Like, you need to get on the flight. Yeah. He like, I'm waiting. Then he hang up. Boop. So then I call. We, man, I'm blowing his phone up now because it's the day of the event. It ain't like yeah. the day before the. It's the day of the event, like hours before the event. I'm blowing his phone up. He finally answered again. Cause now I call. She, I'm like, shit, you need to get this. Like, you need to get. <laughs> hey, you need to get this dude. What is he got going send, on? About to send sheet off down there, man. man. Come on, man. So I'm like, she calling me. He called. He called. Kodak called me back. He like, um, he like, yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna get on the next flight uh, going out. It's one was going out like two more hours. I'm like, all right, bet. Like he like, but you need to book it. I'm like, <laughs> and you know, right now I'm in a tough spot because the event sold out. Yeah. And I don't so want to lose all this bread. You got to get him here. We yeah. 20,000 20, up or something like this. I'm like, I don't want to lose all this bread. So I'm like, all right. So I'm going to let him talk jazzy until he gets to the city. <clears throat> so I'm like, bet, I'm about to book here now. Are you sure you're going to get on this flight? He like, yeah, book two of them for da 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 and da da I'm like, all right, bet. I book it, call the airline, book it, boop, 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 send him the information. He's like, all right, I'll be on there. So, boom, an hour go by, he called back. Hey, when I get there, I need a Corvette and a – uh, if I'm lying, I'm dying, bro. This is, this is, this is young Kodak talking to me. I said, I said, bro. What? I said, bro, I said, bro, a Corvette? I said, what are you talking about right now, for real, for real? I said, we got a driver picking you up. Nah, if y'all can't get a Corvette, I'm cool. <laughs> bro, I'm literally like – I'm like, so now my blood boiling because I'm yeah. just like, bro, what are you? I said, all right, bet. The Corvette be here when you get here. So now I'm like, we're going to fight when he get here. Because I'm, <laughs> like, like, I'm like, he disrespected me and he don't know, like, we yeah. from that, bro. Like, this, yeah. this is not that. Like, so I'm like, yeah, all right. I said, all right, the Corvette be here when you get here. We're going to have it outside park waiting for you. He's like, all right, bet. Hang up. Another hour go by. He better be bored of flight. He don't never board the flight. That's wild. Don't never pick the phone up again. What? So funny Come story. Come on, Yak. Young, young, Yak. You can't young, do young, that. Yak. Yak. Young, man, yak. You can't man, do man, that. Man, you know, like yeah, yeah. Young, yak, young <laughs> yak tried it, bro. That's but how he, boy but, tried. But, I mean, yeah. I yeah. He, I think he sent some of the money back or something. It was something like that. He sent some of the money back, though. Hey, Yak. Yeah. Man, go ahead and shoot that team. Man. Hey, man, it's a lot of interest nice. on that thing now, yeah. bro. He owed me by 30. I ain't gonna lie. Because <laughs> we had to give back 20, plus we lost yeah. the 10. Plus, ah, nah, yeah. man. It was crazy. But Sammy came, and to be honest, it's funny how things happen for you in your career. Sammy came, and he didn't have a DJ at the time. And I, I told Sammy, I said, hey, bro, you the only Kodak ain't coming. He like, what? I'm like, yeah, he ain't coming, so you have to kill this show, and we don't have to just get out the venue. It's over. So he came. He, he didn't have a DJ. So I'm like, let me DJ for you. He's like, all right, but that's cool. So I DJ for him. Crazily, he had an, another show two weeks after in Fort Wayne. And by this time, I had my own bread. Like, so I was like, listen, yeah. I come to Fort Wayne and rock that show too. So I killed the show, my own show. I killed it with him. And then um, he flew back. <clears throat> I drove down to Fort Wayne, me and my camera crew. I killed the show in Fort Wayne. And then he made me his official DJ. Yeah, because you lived with him in Cali for a little bit. Yep. You know so, yeah, I stayed with him on and off in Cali. Um, I Talk stayed. about the deal, bro. Like, I want you to kind of go into that, too. Like, because I know you, you end up coming out there with him. You become his official DJ. Yeah. You, um, y'all living together. Y'all clowning out. <laughs> yeah, we was going crazy. Out in Hollywood, North Hollywood. We was going crazy. Um, talk. I remember when you signed that first deal. Yeah. I, it was a little crazy, to be honest, because it's, it's kind of different, like, when – People don't know this, but like Mad, I think it's called Mad Love, I believe it's called. Mm-hmm. Um, that's uh, what's that man name? Um, Benny Blanco. So if you know anything about Benny Blanco, he's wrote Beyonce records, he's wrote Rihanna records, he wrote Taylor Swift records. So like he just did the whole SZA album with SZA. Damn. Like Benny Blanco's huge. So he signed Trio Sammy signed to Benny Blanco under Sasha Moore. So Sasha Moore is um, Tory Lane's manager. It was Trill Sammy manager. He's been a, a bunch of people manager. He do like this um this uh big festival in Texas too. But okay. he he that guy basically, long story short. But um when we signed, it was it was like surreal. I mean, he got that that stupid check, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> that advanced check, which if you know about advances and stuff, long story short, don't take them. But <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying, unless you Drake. How was it though? Like I mean, what was it what was the I mean, it was, what was the deal? It was a hundred plus for him, but I mean, um, 
I mean, he got a lot of perks too, like the, the crib in LA, like they paid for that. Um, they got us this one crib in the hills for like two weeks, paid for. Like it was a lot of like when you in the industry and you like pop in, your streams is there and you making money for them. It's like they gonna kind of give you the world, but you still kind of but you not yourself. really if you're not really making it. Just hot it. It looked like I'm yeah, getting the yeah. world because when you get that, I think I got it on my phone actually. When you get that, when you get that, um, I don't want to call it a transcript, but it's like. A list of all the sh- the stuff you done did for real, for real. The receipt. Yeah, yeah it's like it's like damn. I didn't know y'all I was know, charging me for that. Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, yeah so you it's you like, you 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 was breathing air for twenty four hours while you was in. <laughs> literally, them, them deals, you know them the, deals. the deals. So we got to charge you for that. I mean, you Man. know that's not free. Them deals are them deals are weird. You got to really you got to really pay attention. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of them people are like in tune with each other. So it's like your manager might be tight with this person. So really. They both fucking you. And yeah, you know what I'm saying. Nah, like, for real though. That that that's literally that happened to me in basketball, bro. Like on, on some on some real shit, where my agent knew the agent overseas. Yeah, yep. So really, when I was fighting for my bread back from where? Where was you at? To? In Greece, I was hooping out in Greece. Yeah. And so when I left there, they owed me. When I left Greece, and this is for you little niggas that think all oh, overseas is great and all of this stuff. It's cool. But one thing for sure and two things for certain playing basketball overseas, bro, is them checks, for one, they give they gave me they was get, they gave me all my checks in cash. So like, <laughs> so like if I had ten thousand dollars for that month, bro, they gave me ten thousand euros like in cash for one. So now you gotta figure out go mess with their banking system and go through all of that and then transfer it back and then shit. I had uh <clears throat> I had people like when my wife came over, I had I have to take like five back. Like, just so I won't have to get taxed on it and all that type of shit. But anyways, another thing is they 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 never pay on time, bro. And they don't pay the late fees for not paying on time. And then you might not get it. And thirdly is, you just might not get it. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> Dang. The niggas in Greece right so now my brother owe me too. like, nah, for so, real. No, they, dead they, ass. they owe me like 40 bands. They yeah. owe me like 40 bands, 35 bands when I left there. <clears throat> and so if you if you over there and you having contract disputes, and you and you going through it with the team or whatever. Don't ever leave. Show up at every practice. There was a dude uh, on my team that was a Russian. He was from Russia, and uh, his 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 like he basically like his management was like a Russian mafia. So they telling him like whatever you do, don't leave. We gonna get our money. Cause if you stay there <laughs> and you on their nerves every day and you at practice and you he wasn't even playing with us, y'all. He just was he just was there like just. He was just sitting there the whole time because you can't say that he didn't come to practice, so we didn't pay him. So, but I'm not knowing this. So, when they sent me back, when I went to, came back to uh, see my son born, you get what I'm saying? They chopped me, mind you. I was leading scorer and all that, like like Ugh. second leading scorer on the team, I think, or something like that. At the same time, I was just now starting to really get to it over there. We was going to the playoffs and all that, but they chopped me because then they wouldn't have to pay me. They put a vet on the team. Dang. But then got home and they. That 35 was gone. So when I go to fight for it back, I'm thinking my agent, I'm wondering why my agent not like, he like, bro, so what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to put up your own 10,000, um, you know, and, and then, you know, it's going to be about six to nine months with the FIBA, you know, for in order for you to get a, um, to get a uh, judgment. Answer, not right. And, yeah. and then on top of that, if you lose, you know, you got to pay your fees plus their fees plus the, and I'm, bro, I'm what, 20, 20, 22, 21? I'm like. I'm not giving up my ten for nine, <laughs> for, for nine months, and then I just got back home, bro. Yeah. It's over. It might have to come out more. It had to come out more. So That's I was right. like, nah. But like he said, they really working together. The yeah. agent over there, he hoping that my my agent over here hoping to save face with that agent over there, and they fucking me at the same time. Pause. Pause. Seriously. Woo. Literally. I'm just. I'm just nah, saying. That's how it is. And then shit. I I just don't get thirty five bands that I was owed. Yeah. That's how it goes. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's, that's how shit it goes. Nuts. But, but, but go ahead. But nah, even yeah. with that, with, with with that with that being said, it's like I guess every you got to take everything with a grain of salt too. It's like when, when I was with Sammy, um, I'm real I'm real outgoing and I'm I'm like a people person. You know what I mean? Yeah, hundred percent. Sammy's not. You know what I'm saying? So like, mm. it, it's a time. It's a time when you're at the top of your career or or in that 15 minutes that we were talking yeah. about earlier. Yeah. If you if you're in that 15 minutes of fame, it's like. You got to lock in with everybody that you can. Straight up. And, um, you know. You got to double down. When you blow up like he blew up out of nowhere, sometimes it's hard to lock in with people because you 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 introverted. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, while he wasn't, I was. You know what I mean? So, I made a lot of connections with people. 
um, in that process, which made me end up running into the, the, another story. And I'm, I'm mad, be swifting here, but in the Queen Isa story, you know what I'm saying? Where I almost signed Queen Isa. Queen Isa was almost the first lady before the City Girls on QC. Right. People don't know this. Mm. I, I set the call up between her and Coach K. Damn. What 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 was it? What happened though? So I seen Queen Ija on YouTube with uh, her husband at the time, Chris Sales, because I ended up managing Chris Sales too. But just long story short, I seen him. I'm into music at the time, so I, I know the, the next person. I'm like, yeah. she got a voice, you yeah. know what I mean? And she got a little story going on. So I flew out to uh, Houston to meet her. So when I meet her, she was like, let's do it. Let's let's go. I'm ready for you to be my manager. Let's do it. Let's get it. And uh, Chris, her husband at the time, was like, well, everything you saying you can do, we we kind of can do ourselves. And I'm like, mm. but y'all not. Right. It's like, yeah, y'all can do it yourself. But you're not. <laughs> so it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, let me come in and put the put the foundation down and let's get it rolling. So I called um Rec One. I called Rec One. And I love telling this story because it's like it's so many people that was in that moment with me. Because I've had a lot of moments where I could have been I could have been Coach K. I could have been this person. Like I did, you only need one person. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Once you had that and one start person, snowballing after that. And yeah. it starts snowballing. So it's like Coach K had Jeezy, he had this person, he had this person. But it's like once you get that one person that you blow up with, then like you said, it starts snowballing. So when I call, when I call Coach K, I'm like, "Hey, I got this this chick. You know what I mean? Queen Nigel, da da da. Like, she dope. I think she could be the next. You know what I mean? And he's like, set it up. And by this time, they went through that whole little Chris and Queen with the whole little divorce mm. and all that shit. There was a lot of stuff happening because Chris came out to L.A. to come to a show um, with me and Sammy. We had a festival we was doing. He came out, flew out there, met with me. He was with me a total of 17 minutes. I ain't going to lie. He came. I got him in the, I got him in the festival. <laughs> I'm lying. line, I'm dying. I got, cause he, she even said this on the Breakfast Club when, when all this shit was going down. She, yeah. She said it on the Breakfast Club. So I'm like, he came, flew out there, and then he left me. And the next thing you know, he cheated. The scandal came out. And then, like, Damn. She, she thinking. So you, so was you a saying part that, of that you hold was on, there. hold on, pause. Part of it. Pause. Pause. I'm part of it. But, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. So you saying. saying you was there with him for seventeen minutes, and he was somewhere else. You don't know where the fuck he was at. <laughs> but it happened on your time. That's what you saying, yeah, Mike well, Nasty. I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Queen <laughs> Nigel. It happened. On, it happened. <laughs> it happened on his time. <laughs> what I'm saying. What I'm saying is Queen Nigel. What I'm saying is Queen Nigel. It didn't happen on my time. You wasn't even waiting. He was only waiting for 17 minutes. He came to the show. He did the show. He left. That Damn. Was it. That was Man it. left. He went backstage. He Mike, you know he what went, happened. Now he went he closed the went. door. Dude, and he like, said, hey, man, my, nah, this, hey, this, dog, this I, don't, outside, I don't know. This outside festival. So he went wherever he went and did whatever he did. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Which, you know, if you, didn't, you don't know what he did, go listen to Medicine by Queen Niger. You know what I'm saying? Damn. But long story short, that, that kind of cut off me and Queen Niger because mm. in her mind, she felt like. It was on your time. Nigga. Yeah, y'all mm. was together. Yeah, uh, <laughs> how he do this when he was with Queen you? Queen Naja, you gonna owe my man's uh, apology, man. That's y'all ain't never talked since nah, then. Huh? We, we have, we talked oh, in the okay. DM. Talk, I, we oh, DM okay. back and forth, and I, I yeah. just right now I'm like, hey, just throw me a doggy bone since I wouldn't. Since right. I mean, unfortunately, I hate to say it like this, but like you was my you was my come up. So it's like in the music space. Yeah, you know what I mean, like you was my one. You know what I mean. Yeah. So it's like. If not, just throw me doggy bone. Come, come, come to the grand open the taco soul. Yeah. Or, or be a brand ambassador. Come eat a taco and let's look at a commercial. Let's do something. Yeah. Cause I ain't never did nothing wrong to you. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like now what I did do, I did start managing Chris sales because at that point I'm like, he done blew the deal with me and her. Right. <laughs> so I'm going to get something. Out and of this if y'all, y'all know DJ chose, right? No, nah, DJ, I don't DJ know chose that. made that song thick, 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 thick. Oh yeah. So he yeah. wrote DJ Chose wrote the, the whole album for Chris Sales. Like you gotta think, if y'all look into that story, Chris Sales had some streams. Right. Like, he was like I I'm the one that got Chris Sales on um Genius, okay. Glad TV. Like we flew to New York. I right at that point he was dating Parker McKinney. Yeah. McKinney. I, and this is the crazier part. Like g- being around somebody you watch on TV, watched on TV your whole life, like Katie from My Wife and Kids. Yeah. That's Parker McKinney. So being around somebody that now you- her grown up, listen, listen here. I'm trying to tell you. I know your name, little baby, but you ain't. <laughs> hey, listen, hey, hey, Mike Nasty. If you got that connect, uh, I, 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 had, I had that connect, you know. But once, once, her, <laughs> once her and Chris went sour, 
He fucking up everything. God <laughs> damn. Hey, well, listen. Chris sales, whatever your name yeah. is. Yeah. Get, get your shit together, man. Yeah, he messed up a lot of things. But, I mean, you know, I was hoping my, my personality could outweigh, you know, him fucking over these girls. You know? Yeah. Well, what, what, my bad. I cut you off with the whole, you know what I mean, me shooting my little half shot at Shorty. Oh, yeah. But uh, you, was, <laughs> you were saying y'all was in something, though. You, New York? Oh, okay. You got on. Oh, okay. Yeah, she so was I, there no, on. No, no. I got a uh, Chris Sales because Chris Sales had a. Comeback record for Queen called Me and You. Oh, and that did. Okay. I think it did like 90 million straight, 90 million views or something like that. It, it did mm. something crazy. I mean, Queen had like 400 million views on her shit. Right. Went, her medicine went crazy. Sure. But long story short, that whole little thing was just crazy. Like, it was a crazy time in my life. I ended up living in Texas with, with Chris for a minute. And like, it was just a whole crazy thing. But like, I missed my one. And I was like, after that, I was like, damn, I'm done with music. Like, I'm damn okay. for real. That's what made me be done. But I feel like you still have, bro. You had so much shit going with the festival. Like, I remember you DJing uh, Wiz Khalifa. Oh yeah, I remember you. I, I forget Wiz who Khalifa, else was Gucci Man when he first came. Gucci home. Man. Uh, talk to us about that, bro. Like those experiences and stuff like that. Because like, I feel like you was in the mix of like, like during that time, bro. It was like really when festivals really start to get really crazy. Yeah, I'm, you know what I'm, I'm saying. Hey, what's the, what's that big festival in Miami? Um. Uh, rolling uh, loud, uh, rolling loud, yeah. Yeah, so I, I've done a few rolling louds. I mean, it's kind of crazy because like it's only a few big DJs from the city that really like I'm gonna say made it, made it. Cause a lot of these DJs are successful, like DJ Cass and people like that. They successful in, in their own space. Yeah. But like, if you're looking at like tour DJs and DJs that really did it, I mean, not being funny, but Hamp. it's me and Champ. Yeah. Right. It's Hamp. me and Champ. Hamp. Yeah. I still call him Champ. Champ. Yeah. So, but, <laughs> but but you gotta think like Champ did it. Champ did it huge, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And shout out to him. But Most it's like, definitely. Yeah, he's I stepping on that into his, you I know, he on. huge, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He just he just happened to get with artists that are at this level. Right. They call them, they call them you know, grade A artists. They call them class A artists. Yep. You know what I mean? Like like I said, Trill Sammy had his run. And, which, and now he's trying to come back and do his thing. But like. Which I, was really, I feel like with Champ, like when I really, when people start finding out that he was a DJ, I mean, a uh, Gucci DJ. Yeah. People started really like being like, hey, hold up, but. Facts. I'm sure you got more information on that. I mean, yeah, I mean, I got a, I got some information on that, but it's like that's champ story to tell, right? Most you definitely. Know what I'm well, yeah. you heard it here first, champ. Yeah, yeah. Get your ass on down here, straight up. I wonder if you can still hoop too. That's champ. That's champ. Story. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's champ story. To tell. <laughs> nah, it, it's, a, it's a lot of behind the scenes things people don't know about. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, of course. About the DJ side. It's yeah, like, but you know, I feel like champ. He got more than just DJ. He could, he, you know, he's the producer. He's this and that third. But it's like, yeah. so do I. So it's like, you know, what I mean, like me. I'm gonna make my millions in food. That's crazy. I can make y'all millions. How y'all make y'all millions? You yeah. Know what I'm saying? But it's like for me, it's more about generational wealth. It's not really about like having absolutely. Millions. It's about having everything I never had before, and it's like it's not that I never have touched a million. You know what I'm saying? It's right. that I need millions. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> a but, million dollars. I mean, I ain't about to say that like that. A million nah, dollars nah, is a lot of money. It's a lot but, of money. But but a million dollars really like I mean like if you stop working today. You gonna spend that million dollars so quick? Yeah, you're not even gonna fucking going. You're not even. You gonna be like, damn, that was a million. It ain't gonna last. But it's about. It's about. Like <laughs> you said, it's about for real. generations up after you. Seriously, there. look at Tone. You already talking about some. Uh, yep, yep. Uh, yeah, I just spent me a couple million. Shit, <laughs> look at that. Hey, 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 that was out hey, there clowning. Somebody, somebody do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know they didn't spend a couple million. Thumbing through some. <laughs> hey, you hey, I'm dead. <laughs> but nah, but nah man. yeah, it's about generational wealth, man. It's about leaving the kids something. I got, I got four kids, man. So it's like they gotta, they gotta be able to live and 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 live the way they they want to live. You yeah. know what I mean? And not have to struggle and not have to do that thing. And like I said, it's more about building other people up too. It's like, all right, this is somebody that had potential that these other companies skipped over. Yeah, it's like no. I want to take you from a, a crew member all the way to a general manager or a district manager, or maybe a director of op- a DO, a director of operations. Yeah, or maybe a CEO. It's like you know, it's a lot of space in these in, in my company that I'm looking for that because we're we're gonna build. It's I'm saying this right now. Yeah. I know for a fact we're gonna have hundreds of taco souls. Mm. Not even. Y'all heard it here. Trying to be all over. Yeah, Y'all heard it here. No, yeah. yeah, he trying to take it there. This this one thing I, I I'll yeah. say about you, bro, like. It don't matter. Ever since I met you, bro, in in middle school, bro, like he been the type of motherfucker that is going to jump off that fucking porch and go yeah. and get if it. If he if it's anything like how he just said, bro, parties. I remember when you first start throwing them motherfuckers, bro. Next day, you know, you getting us in the offer. Hey, T, come on, yo, come on, yep. <laughs> we in that motherfucking cloud. Hey, n- next day, you know, here he go. You know what I'm saying? Getting into the music shit. Getting into. I'm like. 
It seemed like every time you get a lob to some, I mean, the DJ and shit. So it's like, like he said, I didn't even know that happened. But like he said, he jumped out the porch. Like, hey, bro, I got to learn this fucking DJ and shit. All right, bet. Get into it. My fucking boom, run it up. Yep. Soon as he get in it, he jumps off the porch, bro. He not, he not sitting out there trying to, uh, uh, Elaborate with people trying to wait on the opportunity, wait on it to come, nah, bro. It's like you I jump off the porch. Yeah, where does that come from? That's what we were just talking about, too. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, being comfortable real. being uncomfortable for real. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, to be honest, I mean, I mean, even even this concept, it, it was just something that started in my head, and I was just like, I kept saying it that I was gonna do it, I was gonna do it, I was gonna do it, and I finally just did it. You know what I'm saying? It's, yeah. It takes it takes more than that. I'm not saying it's just like one of the days you can be like, I'm just gonna go do this. Right. It's like, nah, you gotta plan, you gotta be strategic, you gotta really make the move when you can make it. Cause like I I've had a salary for a long time. Right. You know what I'm saying? People didn't know that. But yeah, I, I had, did. I've had a salary for a long time. Now, I was just good enough to be able to do what I wanted to do with my salary. Right? Exactly. So I can come in and that's that's why I said next year. And after we get Taco Soul right up and running, I want to help these other businesses failing get back to where they need to get to because right. I know I can make that impact. I've turned around multiple stores where, you know, they were making 15000 a week, and I come in, and now we're making 40000 a week. And it was just really mm-hmm. just leadership? It's, you feel it's, like? it's, all, it's all about leadership, but it's also about knowing about what you like, Key players, what to bro. do. Yeah, you got to have the right people in place. Yeah. Because, it's like, even when I was a GM, you know, or a district manager, it's like you got to have the key people in place to be like, all right, I'm going to train you guys in systems. I heard you talk about systems. systems absolutely. Systems is the best thing you can talk about because yep. without a system, you're going to fail. You can't scale. You can't scale without a system. <laughs> Tell them that again. <laughs> without a system, you can't scale. So it's like, it's like me. I'm opening up a restaurant now. I can't be the GM of the restaurant. How? <laughs> how, how I'm going to scale if the, the number one priority is my charisma is locked into one spot. Mm-hmm. I got to be out. Building, building the brand. Mm-hmm. I got to be out touching people's hands, um, locking in with people, community togetherness. I'm super big. My company, we're big about community togetherness. What in the community can we do to be impactful, right? It's like my kids are in baseball. My kids are in this. Okay, next year, Taco Soul is going to be on every baseball shirt team out there. You heard me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Fisher's High School. My kids, we, we live in Fisher's guys. Okay, what am I going to do for them? Oh, we're doing free queso days. I'm taking up. Bunch of quesos, chips, dropping them off. What can we do to be impactful for the football games? Oh, absolutely. You know what I mean? It's about to be cold outside. Queso and chips is the, is the way. You yeah, know most I mean? definitely. So in, in a few weeks, we're about, to, we're about to feed the homeless. And I have another brand called Playhouse that I own. It's a clothing line. Mm-hmm. And we do hoodies. And I need me one of them hoodies, too, man. I got you. I got you. But we're about to sure. give away. I've been trying your own goddamn away. hoodies for about three years now. Hey, man, listen. The hoodie's fire. And they, they're the warmest hoodie I ever had. But we're about to give away <laughs> chips and queso from Taco So. <laughs> chips and queso from Taco So. They can send my hoodies. Hoodie the, the warmest hoodie out of <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Ray J with this, man. I'm not, hey, I'm not playing. You feel me? Like Ray J. I'm like Ray J with this stuff. For real, though, With bro. these products, man. Because you, you, you got to really have your foot in everything. Yeah, man. Like, you, that's in, that's in inspiring though bro and even like on the branding side because like really he's really really big about us branding and he really um he really turned like turned the light on for me as far as branding go like bro we gotta be out here with this shit like yeah. being create like we both got creative minds so like it may be he he more he more like when he got some creative bro he just say that shit I got some creative. I be thinking about it for two three months sometimes not no more though I'm saying like you brought that out of me like now yeah. I'm like Nah, right when I think something, I'm just I'm just saying it, yeah, putting it out it. there, shoot, man. Let's put it text. out there, shit. It may work, it may not work, it may be dope, it may not be dope, but shit, just throw it out there because, bro, that brand and shit is so huge. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But that's inspiring as well. Because I, I, what I want to say about him too is, what's inspiring about him too, bro, is every time like, like, we didn't both had our ups and stuff like around each other, right? And like, where we don't talk for. Like I'm, I'm I, like when I was at Purdue, we probably didn't talk shit the whole half the time I was at Purdue. You know what I'm saying? But when I got out, when he used to come out to Cali and stuff, now he was already out there. He was up, had on the bust down Cardi, had on AP. <laughs> what you have on? The, uh, <laughs> well, it started with the Rolex, then I went to the Cardi. Yeah, exactly. And I'm like, damn, bro, getting to it. like that shit inspiring. But he was yeah. you know, everywhere with it. You know what I'm saying? And you turn around, he hey shot me out when we started the real estate journey and all that shit. So it's like. Yeah, that shit is inspiring. That's, that's black, black, black man to black man. Yeah. Seeing somebody else jumping off the porch, 
putting that work in, bro, and just not really worried about what the fuck people saying. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, get it, bro. I, think like, that's, I think that's another problem, though. A lot of people get caught into, like, what people think about you. Yeah. And, like, I had that issue a lot. Like, I used to think, man, I had so many, I had a few haters that, like, I just used to let them control the way I thought, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And once I realized, once I got that mind frame, I'm like, I can't keep thinking and letting people, um, letting people's thoughts and, and, and how they feel about me change the way I, how I feel about myself. Right, you know right. That's some real shit, boy. So, so once I finally got out, got out of that kind of stigma, it was like, all right, you just need to kind of focus up. Yeah, and did it? I'm sure you know. What I'm saying it built confidence too, because you like everybody saying, you know, don't do this or don't do that or whatever. And I look at them, I'm like, well, I don't really want to do what you're doing. Like you telling yeah. me don't do it, but if I do what you're doing, I'm already doing damn near better than you, or maybe I'm not. Like, but. I feel like I got more potential than you or whatever it is. I just got a different vision than you got. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you, a lot of people put that, like you're saying, shoot, just on the back burner because it's somebody close to them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They're like, damn. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that, just from that, you know what I'm saying? That shit just seep through your brain or whatever. But you will have a lot of confidence once you do something. Somebody say, nah, I don't do it. And you do it. And then you see it work. you like. Man, I knew what the fuck I was talking about. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, it yeah. gave you more confidence now. Yeah, like, yeah. you say that the next time or somebody else say their name, like, get the fuck out of here. Exactly. I ain't saying don't listen to people. Yeah, don't yeah. listen to constructive criticism. I- criticism and ideas and shit what people got going on. But you also got to look at that person, too. Like, well, how are they? Be very careful about who you listen to. Yeah, I'm yeah. not going to lie. You know, like, my, that's really what it is. My wife <laughs> always tell me, like, you tell your ideas to too many people. Because mm, you, you, yeah. you, get, you get too much space for people to... <laughs> Give you too many um, outlooks on it, and it yeah. can even be the people that's close to you. Yeah, I ain't even speaking on her like specific, but yeah. people in they in their life, they wife could be the person that is that for them, not yeah. on purpose. Yeah. Right, that's yeah. just how they grew up or right. what they believe. Yeah. They're not trying to like nah, downplay man. what you're doing. It's just like, I mean, Mike, how long you gonna keep DJing? Like, how long you gonna keep doing this shit? Right, right. right. And you like. Baby, you don't see what the fuck I'm trying to. I just got clean. I mean, I was we was yep. a half step away from right, the. From, right. You don't yeah. see what the yeah. fuck. She yeah, like, yeah. I mean, baby, I get it, but I mean, I'm just saying, like, are yeah, you, that means you know what I'm saying? And it's just mothers, fathers, uncles, all of all the close people brothers, to your homies, brothers. Homies. Ain't nobody off limits because people. Some people are true haters, and some people are doing it out of love. They didn't even just know. because they don't see the vision how you no, see it. No, no, they can't. You feel me? And they think about they it can't. as yeah. if it were them. Like I just exactly. hate to say it. They put in a. I think it was Jay Z that said it. it was either Jay Z yep. or Nip, but they said, so, yeah, Jay Z. Other people put their fears on you. So it might right. be something that, shit, they might have feared to do to step into. To they just like, man, I'm telling you, don't mess with that. Like, even with this, uh, with, with wholesaling real estate, remember I told you one of my mom's friends, which was like, he, he was up too, Jamaican guy, he was up. But when I first started wholesaling, you know what I'm saying, I was doing it, and he told my mom, like, hey, he doing something illegal. Like, <laughs> he, he, sh- he shouldn't be doing that. Babe. Then ran up. M's and his bitch in real estate <laughs> yeah. overall. I just didn't listen, bro. I was like, Mom, I don't want to hear that. Man. I don't even know why I said that like that, though. You know what I'm saying? But I was never one to just block take out. anybody, anybody word, bro. I didn't did my research. I'm watching boys doing it. I'm listening to people that's doing it every day. Yep. But I could have been like, dang, for real, that's illegal, and lost two, three years of it. Oh, so I'll never make a, <laughs> you'll never sell a million records. Shit, I sold a million records like a, a million, million times. times. <laughs> Nigga. No, for, for real. real. That's different. No, for real. You feel no, me? For real. Now hey. we're about to sell a hundred thousand and a hundred million burritos. So y'all <laughs> <laughs> talk to us, talk to us, talk to us about that though. Um, let's get back to, you know, what's, what's actually going on now. Talk to us about the process. Um, I know that, like, like I said, you was doing pop ups and stuff like that. But talk to us about the process and where you see this going. You know, over the next five years. I mean, so like I said, everything's about planning. You know what I mean? So um, if you don't got your plan together, it, it'll never work in it, to begin with. You know, mm-hmm. you gotta have your plan. You gotta have your vision board. You gotta have your board that you're writing everything on to be like, okay, this is what this is what we're doing in the next five years. Um, but for Taco Soul, I mean. You know, you, you'll see it. We'll, we'll start with one and we'll end with thousands. But to get there, you know, because a lot of people can say that, like, okay, we're going to start with one, then we're going to scale and have thousands. But what do you have to do to get there? Because it takes capital. It takes takes investments. Like, eventually, you know, we the first two, we're probably going to use our own capital. Mm. First one, we use, we use our own capital, which means, like, all this is funded by us. Mm. You know what I mean? But... 
three and four, you know, we may be looking for that that equity deal. You know what I mean? Where it's like, okay, is it time to bring in um, LeBron, or is it time to bring in mm. Drake, or is it time to bring in somebody of stature that has that we can leverage their their um their platforms mm-hmm. to, to grow smart the company. Way. Very smart. Um, Start counting up. What so, what got to be like? <laughs> <laughs> So that, that, that sound like a fucking rocket. That ain't even. That crazy. Crazy. That's what got it behind me. <laughs> that, was, <laughs> that was crazy. But I mean, that, that's that's pretty much yeah. the plan. You know, we want to have we want to have we want to have a few, but um, eventually we want to start franchising it. You know, and, and hopefully selling markets. And hopefully, right. if you're looking to come into this business, and after we prove concept, because. Uh, everybody wants to see numbers. It's, I mean, yeah. it's kind of like Days Hot Chicken. You know, I, I opened up the first Days Hot Chicken here in Indiana. And the second day, I chicken here in Indiana, and, and the one, the two in Ohio, I've, I've I played a major part in that. But it's like, it's all about scaling and, and just making sure you know what you're doing. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, like that guy Tyler, that's my guy. He owns 97 Pizza Huts, and he's about to own 26 Days Hot Chickens. He got five already. Mm. So it's like. He got a plan, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he got capital to back it up. You know what I'm right. saying? Exactly. So, but it, but it's like it's all about having that capital. I even talked to him like, hey, he's like, man, if I didn't have Dave's Hot Chicken, we could run it. You know what I mean? It's yeah. Like, it's like, yeah. But it's like you know everything will fall in place. Like I, I got this one little story I'll tell. We went to Brownsburg and, and tried to get a location downtown Brownsburg, and the guy that owns the strip, we went when met with him, sat down, and he said, man, this is this is a real dope concept, and I think it's gonna do real well. Let's have an offline conversation about equity. So I, I kind of let that slide in the conversation because we're talking about renting his, renting the last space in his, yeah. in his, in his spot. And I'm like, what? So then I kind of, I'm like, I said, let's go back to what you said in the beginning. I said, you're trying to get equity in the company. And he's like, he's like, yeah. Like if, if you guys are, I know people want to hold on to their equity, but if you guys are willing, let's let's have a conversation. I'm like, I gotta have some. I'm like, but but it's if like, they want equity, that makes sense. If they want, yeah, that's the, that's what it is. They willing to already give you a number on, oh, on yeah. equity. So oh, yeah. that's another thing, man. When when f- the first time somebody start asking for equity, I'm not saying don't take it if you need it, if you absolutely need it, right? But the first time somebody start talking about an equity position for a certain number, just think about it, man, because you got to. You probably can get double that number, triple that number. Exactly. Happen time and time and time again. Absolutely. And just know that, like, if somebody's asking for equity, it's like, oh, okay, yeah, they think my shit hot. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. was right. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? It's just I confirmation. Right. Yeah. Like, it was confirmation yeah. for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For me, yeah I'm the shit. That's you what know what I mean? Like that, it, it was just like, compliment. It wasn't like I needed his <laughs> money or anything like that. Because, like, if you think about it, like, the build out for that one for um, uh, Brownsburg, and that was a, that was a full blown build out, that was going to be $600,000. And he mm. was he was willing to pay all of it. Mm. I mean, we still had to pay him rent, but he was yeah. willing. But but it's like you start thinking about it, and it's like that's why I talk about creating the opportunities for yourself. Yeah, you get what I'm saying. If I would never oh, did these pop ups, if I never did these pop ups, I'd have never got to this point where I was looking for buildings. I never got to this point where I met this guy. Mm. I never got this. Like it's it's all about things are going to happen when you get the ball rolling. Right. I think exactly. That, that's the that's a lot of problem with these entrepreneurs. They don't get the ball rolling. Yeah. They they just say I got this grand idea and I want money to to launch it. But it's like you got to figure out somehow some way to get the ball rolling. Absolutely, because you, know you can't halfway you can't halfway do shit, man. You can't be one foot in, one foot out. I don't no. give a shit what it is. You in the drug game, whatever you doing, don't be in the drug game. But you in the drug game, go all the way, nigga. You halfway foot, you one foot in, you one foot out. You, that's, how, that's how you get killed. That's how you go to jail quick. You understand what I'm saying? Or that's how you, you fail. Or that's how you fail. Yeah. If you, if right, you, right. If, if you, you are running around the city yeah, looking yeah. silly. But you got people that <laughs> got one foot in and now they, they, they didn't got hit. Because yeah. they just in the way, bro. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just saying. So, th- on top of that, in the real estate game, same shit, you're going to miss out. <laughs> what? Hey, T, where you going with this? I swear to God, hey. though, nigga, you just hey, in the no way, way, man. Move your ass out of way, bro. What, what is you so, doing? You so way, you in the way. Same thing in real estate, though. You gonna miss out on so many bags that just dropping your, <laughs> that just dropping your hands because yeah. you're in it every day. Like we in this. This is what we do. We in it every day. So certain opportunities arise, and oh, those people shit. that might Tina that might think me, about boy. selling a house or they people selling a house, hey, they gonna reach out to me. Yeah, because I'm the one that consistently they can see this in it. 
I'm not fucking around and playing with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not one one foot in, one foot out. Like that's yeah. what I feel like. What that is, bro. Like whatever you do, bro, put two feet in and go and do the shit. You know what I'm saying? Like don't don't wait back and and sit back and just yeah. sit on the sideline a little bit and then jump out for a month and then go back to the sideline. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you can't be successful that way, bro. So really, how we gonna wrap this shit up, man? Is get comfortable. Being uncomfortable For real uh, Nah no this what this whole This is what this whole thing is about Like And we was talking to our team earlier Right <clears throat> And um, T had wrote that he, We got a uh, Like a vibe board And uh, he had wrote the quote on the board And it's crazy bro Literally I woke up at Two something this morning And I couldn't go back to sleep And right. this is one of the things That was on my mind mm-hmm. Because It was on my mind Because I was like Damn I really ain't getting no sleep Like fuck it I ain't gonna go to the gym but then something in my head was like, like Kobe would go still. Bro. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like that that's what helped me get whatever it takes, you yeah, know what I'm saying, to get there. But after that thought, I was thinking, I'm like, damn, like it it really just be the resistance. Like the resistance mean do it. Right. That's what the resistance mean. So I end up speaking to my team about it. Like resistance just been a word that I just been on since this morning. Right. It was just in my head. It's crazy to you came with the same thing. It was yeah. it was the same shit, just in a different way. And I was telling the team, I'm like, that's that's what resistance is. When you first feel it, that's when you like, okay, let me see how much longer I can go. It's not like, yo, I can do 25 push-ups. Like, I don't care. Ali used to he used to do his workouts and say, I start counting when it start hurting. Right. Oh, yeah, that's that's, that's what it is. <laughs> that's dope. That's dope. I start counting exactly. when it start hurting. Exactly. You feel me? Like before, like crazy. who you know what I'm saying? That's greatness right there. I start doing it when the resistance, that's when I start paying attention and seeing how long I can go through that right. or how much more I can push through. You feel me? So that's crazy. It's really just that. Yeah, I was like, ugh, so, that shit was nasty. Right. That's man. why I hate that man. Well, it's definitely, but man, hey, look, I want to go over one. We want to, I want to go over that topic right now with the girls <laughs> and all this stuff that's going on before we oh, get up out of here. So we can go into man. a little space that we talk <laughs> over time. <laughs> Hey. Over time, over time. So it's a situation time. out there right now where women put out a list of restaurants that you cannot take them on the first date. Like twenty eight of them, I think, or yeah. something like that. Like twenty eight restaurants, including Cheesecake Factory, uh, sporting events, sporting events, ice cream, ice cream. Wow. They had church on there too. I said church. <laughs> yeah, I said damn going, church. But I did crazy. just hear a dude took a chick to church. Or somebody I know they took her to church just to crack. I said, "Come on, man!" And then he got up out of there. But hey, anyways, <laughs> he didn't what? use God to do what he had to do. But hey, whatever floats A's boat. But look, he's filthy. <laughs> he is, bro. He but is look, filthy for that. Wow. I, I, I'll say my take on this, and y'all can y'all can take y'all's. Because look, I. I look at these chicks that that's out here with those lists, bro. They want in the same with the chicks that's always out here talking about who's paying what, 50% this, 100% this. Look, let me yeah, tell y'all something. Let me look y'all in the eyes and tell y'all something. And I'm married. Those are the ones that's normally not getting married. <laughs> those are the ones that's normally, we're not looking to take you out on a date because it's transactional anyway. None of us are looking to take girls like you out on a date. Just because mm. you cute. Oh, once we really get to know you, oh, you suck. You ain't in my title, baby. <laughs> so just because you look good don't mean that it has to be transactional. You know, I see a lot. I saw some some women that I know, you know what I'm saying, that that they uh, put it on their story and shit. It was something where, like, a girl was eating a cheeseburger. They was like, while you, while you decline in Cheesecake Factory, this uh, I'm over here at, <laughs> like this at Applebee's. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And, and what's crazy too. is oh, those are the the women that men want to take out to the super expensive restaurants and stuff like that because it actually feels like an experience. It feel like we doing this together. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like I'm paying you to go hang out with me. Exactly. See, which, I think which my, none of us is no fucking clowns like that. Facts Stop at all. It. Yeah, and nah, I, and I seen somebody some and, clowns, and I seen somebody else say one of the guy he was like, that list ain't for real niggas. <laughs> that list ain't for real niggas, <laughs> baby. If I'm telling you we going to go wherever because it's me, you ain't even got no problem of where we going. Right. Really? Yeah. For the most exactly. part, like if you, the fact that I, I am, you know, he was just speaking to the fact that like, if that girl or that, or shorty like you like that, she's not really tripping. Really, where y'all going? At all. You, you no. tripping that hard if it is transactional. Yeah. 
If yeah. I don't really like you like that, okay, yeah. cool. I'm going to go get a free meal. I'm going to do this. I'm going to yeah. do that. Whatever. Then, yeah, maybe you care. But if it's a dude that you like, you're going to go fucking walk in the park and not eat shit. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and give For up real. them cakes. And give up the cakes. <laughs> For free Exactly He didn't feed you You didn't get you no water none He didn't that. do none of that baby they, He didn't they And you me. gave it up They stressed me what, on this what, this what's, your, what's your take on this man um, Cause you married too my, my take is My first date with my wife Was at Applebee's See? Damn And we went We went and had drinks We talked We didn't even eat We just went and had drinks We talked And uh, the funniest part About that story is She texted her friends And was like I don't know if I'm going on a second date with this. <laughs> <laughs> but, I, but, but fast forward nine years later, she big house, big crib. You hear me? Living good. So that's but what that's she went on that second. Do. She was just probably just trying to she, still figure you out. But that's my point, though. Well, she wasn't about she said, she And it was just fun. Either. I yeah. had kids. She was like, ah. Oh, right. It wasn't about where y'all was at, though. No, 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 no. It wasn't about. It was just like, oh, I'm still going to kind of like, you know, figure yeah. out and, and, and see, you know, really where it's at. But, Absolutely. Yeah, man. Nah. Bitches is crazy these days, bro. Nah, I'm sorry. Y'all got to yeah. relax with that, man. Because I'm telling y'all, man, I know yeah. so many people out here that's just on relax. that. Just yeah. relax. It's like, just chill out, man. Like, if you going into to dating or, or whatever you're doing, this is me again. This is me being married five years. I had to keep saying that. Because, bruh, it don't matter if you don't like the person. Like, <laughs> you can't, if you, and that's if y'all looking to get married. Some of y'all literally just looking to just, Fucking kick it with somebody, and maybe share a baby with somebody in the future. I'm not talking to y'all. If y'all on that, that's cool. But if y'all, really I might be in that get, category. Yeah, you might be. <laughs> if nah, you gonna you gonna you gonna you gonna come. Who trying to push that, one out? Somebody, somebody gonna somebody gonna you, somebody gonna lock you up. Who trying to push one out for me? But look hey, though, Josh, <laughs> I, mean, I, Josh, I need a baby mama. No, too. you don't, bro. Stop saying that. I'm telling you, stop Josh, saying that. Well, let me chill. Let me chill. Hey, let me chill. Hey, I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing. I'm playing, I'm y'all. For real, I'm really playing. Really looking for somebody like a <laughs> lifelong partner. For real, though, yeah. bro, you have to like that person. So after all of that, after he buying you stuff, after all of that. You got to be able to hear this nigga fart walking by you, and it just—I'm just saying. Hey, though, you, you okay gotta with? Still like this man. You got to. You got to be able to. This man, uh, 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 uh weigh twenty five pounds more than he used to, oh, but you still love him. And you trying to get him back to where you, you know what I'm saying? You, baby, let's go work. Let's do this. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause you love that man that much. Like, you yep. love his soul, not I ain't gonna what's lie. on him. The, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really what's in it. Like, cause here's the thing, though, too. I mean, and this could be superficial and like going to towards what you're saying. Oh, you yeah. might have to, T. You got to cross like, your legs, hey, I think, to do hey, that, though. Give me a relationship give coach, me you got to cross your. T, T, T. You feel me? Hey, have to have a segment on Oh, shit. Uh, anyway Look uh, this is what I'm saying though too though For a certain guy She's not gonna go to the cheesecake factory with you Right Yeah For that next guy She's 100% okay with going to the cheesecake On factory yeah. If Drake say god damn it You know I like Baby, to go there We going to the cheesecake factory <laughs> yeah. What the Bro, fuck All cheesecake. of y'all that wrote that list Are you kidding me Bro If Drake say Y'all would be in that motherfucker faster than a mother Man listen You get what I'm saying Come Drake. on, man. Matter of fact, Drake, I'm challenging you right now. Drizzy, you heard this right here. And I was at your show. And I'm challenging you for a basketball game, too. But go yeah, ahead. I'll cook you. But on God. Drake, <laughs> Drake, I'm challenging you right now. I might cook Find Drake. Find one of these chicks that posted that and invite them to a date to Cheesecake. I guarantee you that corny ass go, don't let them know that you know <laughs> that they did it. That you did it. That you found out that they posted that. But take their ass to Cheesecake, and I guarantee you that go. And go and go to cheesecake, and then it'd be just a surprise, man. It's just like McDonald's or some shit. Right. Like just fuck them right. up. <laughs> <laughs> just do a bottle. It's all run out. It's just straight McDonald's and shit. Just the worst of the for worst real. shit that I she mean, can eat. Type hey, shit. Hey, Sierra man just rented out Waffle House for her. So it's, I mean, and they, not, yeah, exactly. They yeah, I saw up, that. So it's like, yeah. But I'm telling you, bro, because that's not it's, what it's about, bro. It's like, not, yeah. I had to go through that. I'm it's like, not, bro. Shit, it's not about buying shit. It's not about the places you go, bro. I, one time my wife was like, shit, I just want you to just, shit, you ain't been courting me lately. Like, I'm talking about shit just going on the walk. Shit, just me and you we might go get coffee and just shit, walk walk around the lake right there. Yeah. Like, Simple just shit. having conversation and shit like that. Like, bro, that's what real women trying to do. They ain't trying to get on this goofy shit y'all talking about. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's all. The, like, come I'm on. Just, I, I'm so, bro, once again, I, I think we had a point. Obviously, we married, but it's like. 
I'm just so focused in, in, in that. It's like even social media right now, it's kind of, I'm, I'm on and off of there. Yeah. Like, I'm dropping stuff for Taco it Soul. It is wild. I'm back to Taco Soul. It's like. Right. We, I think people, I'm going to say this to people right now. If you're trying to follow your dreams, so just focus up. Yeah. Think about how many hours you spend on social media. If it's not being productive on social media where you're right. promoting your business or you're promoting something that you're trying to do, get off social media. Like right now, I still have a problem going home. After I go home, I might spend an hour or two just scrolling because I done missed all day. Right. I'm just trying to get out that, that stigma. But it's right. like, you know, maybe I go home and, and spend more time with the kids, do this, that, yeah. that. It's like these phones and social media got us so it, they uh, do. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, my, like, my, you right. Hey, bro, it's crazy. I was thinking about this this past week, and I was like, if I get on social media, I'm doing something active on there. I'm like getting out of habit of fucking scrolling or just yeah. looking. Yeah. It's like either I'm posting something, sharing something, commenting on something that I like, going live, going live. Like I'm actually being on the opposite side of it. Right, you get what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Like if I'm on there, then I need to do it. Shit. Yeah, they looking right. at my shit. All, everybody else is scrolling. Now you're just looking at my shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Instead right. of being on the opposite side and you just scroll, that ain't doing no good. Like what right. is really that doing? You know, especially if you're just scrolling too. Like at least comment, say something crazy where motherfuckers <laughs> come to your page and yeah. you're trying to grow your brand. Like yeah. why am I just scrolling? Fuck it. I'm going to just say something on, on everything that I see. If I got yeah. a thought, Boom, just put it out there. People are like, damn, I agree with that. Let me see what What's the fuck you're talking uh, about. Poodle? Huh? Oh. Is this poodle right here, Josh? <laughs> 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 this, this shit might be uh, sheep skin. Man. This, this shit might be man. alpaca. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this gotta be poodle right here. That's $50,000 alpaca. You don't you block that shit. Block you better block that shit. <laughs> hey, but nah, man, we appreciate you, bro. And uh, Hell yeah. Sure like man, that. I just want to tell you from here, you know, we want to give you flowers early. We 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 see it. I see the fire in your eyes when it come to this when, when it come to this restaurant shit, man. I, I believe in a thousand restaurants. How you saying, bro? So I want to give you your flowers early, man. Keep doing what you're doing. Hell keep, yeah. Keep touching the community the way that you're touching it. Pause. And then we gon we gonna continue to support over here for sure, man. Straight up. Um, but we definitely appreciate. We you at the opening on. too again. We at the December second. Yep. What oh, time? Uh, ten. We line go start at ten. We open the doors at eleven. So if you got your kids and stuff, make sure you bring them out around ten ish, so y'all can hop in line, get the balloons made, get the face painted. We are gonna have a live DJ. It's gonna be live. You know. And where we gonna, where and can we they follow y'all at? Uh, Taco Soul uh, on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. TikTok everywhere, so okay. T a k o s e o u l. So make sure you follow us, and if you are looking to um, either join the team, uh, we have applications already live on Indeed, and we have applications live on our actual website. And we also we we jumping like I said, we jumping in head first. So we jumping in. We got an app coming as well. So mm. we ready to download the app. You know what I mean? We spend a lot of money on the app, so we want to make nice. sure you guys are getting that app. And you're ordering your food directly off the app, and we'll be on all third party platforms as well. So make sure you guys really just tap in with us and um, follow the brand because we got some fun stuff coming. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I think this is an amazing point we're at. We're at the beginning stages, and and um, that's a lot of back end stuff that's happening that that people wouldn't even have a clue about. And um, if you follow me on Facebook at Michael Andrews, you'll see some of the back the back end stuff that I'm doing. That goes into the journey. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's hard. For sure, man. But shoot, man. DJ Mike Nasty. We in the building. That's episode 41. You got me. Y'all always catch a bag. Oh. Legacy underscore T on Instagram. Come check me out. Yeah. Just like that. We, we out. out. <laughs>